Hey, this is Lewis from Breakdance, and in this video, I want to show you how to add a mini cart to your website's header. This is using the Breakdance mini cart element. You click it, and a small cart flies out from the side. You can also display it as a popover. You can make it automatically open when a product is added to the cart. Uh, and then you get a checkout link, a continue shopping link, which you can customize, and other customization options. Let's go ahead and learn how to create this in Breakdance. So I'm going to go into the WordPress admin, go to Breakdance headers. I already have a header set up, and I want to put this mini cart in my header. So I will edit my header in Breakdance. And I already have added the mini cart element to this header. As you just saw, let's go ahead and delete this so you can learn how to do it from scratch. So I'll go add and I will search for mini cart, and I will drag this to the right side of my header. And by default, it looks like this and displays as a pop over. Let's say I want to customize what's shown in the link. I can go to link, and maybe I don't want to show the count. Maybe I don't want to show the subtotal. Maybe I only want to show a cart icon. You can do it just like that. Uh, if I want to customize the cart, I can do that as well. Maybe I want to display a continue shopping link, for example, that goes to the shop page. Let's choose that. Maybe I want the primary button to be checkout instead of cart. Let's take a look. Now we have checkout and continue shopping. Maybe I want to open the cart automatically on ad, like you saw in my uh, about a minute ago. Let's enable open cart on ad. Now let's go ahead and customize the design of the cart. So we'll go to the design tab. And for the link, maybe I want to customize this link a little bit. Maybe I want to put a border around the icon. Let's go with a four pixel radius, two pixel width, and black. And now we've created that kind of design. Maybe I want to customize the style of the count. So let's enable the count and let's go to quantity and I can enable overlap to get that kind of effect. I could adjust it with the top nudge, right nudge, probably don't want the border style if I'm going to use that quantity style. I can customize the background color. I can adjust the typography. I can make this bigger or smaller. Let's go with 12 pixels looks pretty good, or I could just stick with the defaults, which are going to respect my global settings. Let's customize the cart. So I can go to cart and I could make this a sidebar cart. Now it's going to fly out from the side. I could choose a sidebar position of right if I want it on the right side of the screen. I can adjust the container styling. I can make this wider or narrower. I think 350 is a pretty good width. I can adjust the styling of the contents, the subtotal, the actions, the spacing, everything you want. You can customize it right here. Okay, let's save this and go to the front end of the site and see it in action. And here is the mini cart. Opens up on add. Click checkout to go direct to checkout. Great option to maximize your conversions built into Breakdance. Thank you very much for watching.